welcome back to the channel right uh thanks everyone who commented on the last video um really means a lot um yeah thank you very much for that right i've got a new subscriber i think uh his name is shabaduba <laughs> and he wrote on the the last video i made i've only just discovered your channel a month ago but your videos are a real treat thank you cool name by the way really cool name shabaduba love hearing your music opinions and passion for records because you come across as a genuine bloke again thanks very much for that do tell us about your rotel however brief i wish you well gerard thank you very much for that gerard really nice of you to say like I said, it's a very basic amp, so uh, there's not a great deal to tell. But guys that have uh, followed my channel for a little while know I've gone through a few lately. I had the Kenwood, um, and then one of the channels went, so I bought the Sony amp. Now, the Sony amp was powerful. It was a really powerful amp. Um, I never, ever tried to max it up, but I was never... Didn't really like the wheel on it, the volume wheel. It just felt like it lagged a little bit. I don't know, it's very, very strange to, to try and describe. But it really used to get on my nerves. But the final fact, I mean, the Bluetooth thing were a wonderful. Music struck up my phone, pop, straight on there. All of that was wonderful. And for the volume, but um, it wasn't quite as refined as I wanted it. And one night I was having a meal with the wife. And I was playing the uh, Giles Martin Sergeant Pepper. And it sounded mashy, and it was bothering me. Bothering me at the point of wanting to turn off Sergeant Pepper, which I never do. I always play it through. Um, and I thought, well, I need something more refined. So I was on a very limited budget. I had a little scarf around on eBay, and I've come up with this Rotel RA921 Integrated Stereo Amplifier. Now... Very, very basic, not even a remote control. And that's probably one of the only bugbears I've got with it so far. Um, very basic, like I said, you've got, obviously, your, your power button, your phono. So, obviously, when you plug your headphones in, it cuts out uh, the speakers. Haven't done that yet. Obviously, you've got your bass and your treble, which I didn't have on the Sony. Your volume, which is obviously down at the bottom at the moment, the volume. Uh, your balance, your your source monitor, so if you're recording stuff, which I haven't used, um, your function. And this is very basic. You've got aux, tuner, CD, and phono, which is what I've got it on. Uh, the back's very, very simple. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can probably see it. So literally I've got, the Riga plugged in there in the phono. There's no ground with the Riga. Don't know why, but there isn't. Um, and proper binding posts. Nothing else is plugged in at the moment. I don't even have a CD player, which is something I'll get to as well. Still don't have a CD player for those that have watched the channel for a while. I know. So that's kind of it. Now, why did I pick this one up? Right, well, Years ago, my brother bought an amp, and it was a Rotel amp, and I always remember the sound being really, really clear. Really nice, warm punch. Uh, it just sounded wonderful. So that, I thought, I'm going to go with that and have a little look around. Now, this is only 25 watts per channel. Now, as you know, I've got these, these Morden Short MS914 floor standers that are 100 watts per channel. And, and these are incredible, such a good buy. So glad I got these. Um, so, and I was a little bit concerned, should I get this? Because it was quite a, a nice little price, just under 100 quid. I thought, oh, do I, don't I? 25 watts, will that be enough? Now, in audio file land, they're probably thinking, nowhere near. But I'll tell you what, right, I haven't gone above half. Well, probably about, I'd say I've been about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. That's about as loud as I've got. Um, and it literally does fill the room. It's got a great sound stage. It really, really has. The music is so well placed. You can literally see the drummer there 
the guitar is there, the vocals there. It's wonderful for that. And that's what I was lacking with a Sony. It wasn't that refined sound that I really, really was. You need it, especially if you're playing beat. Well, all music it needs to be heard properly. And, you know, when I was younger, maybe it was all about the bass. Um, although I was never really that. Now, I was trying to think, how could I possibly do a demo? But you can't. Because you need to be in here to hear the speakers. Because no matter how I record it, and I record it on a, um, a Zoom H4N, as you know, all, all my audio is done on that until I get myself a, a shotgun mic, which I might treat myself to this year. We'll see. Um, but so it picks up really nice recordings as a role. But you know, no matter how well that it picks up, it's never going to sound the same as the uh, speakers that I have. And it, if you're playing this on your phone. It's pointless. So there's no real way of showing you how they sound. you just got to take my word for it. So I would say the strengths on this is it's got a nice, small, compact design. Very, very simple. Uh, you know, no flashing lights and all that nonsense. Because I don't want all that no more. That was years ago with the AM stretch, do you remember? Um, I don't want to do that no more. And obviously simple controls. You know, the controls are really, really simple. You know, if you want a little bit more bass, there it is. Although I tend to keep most things just flat. Uh, the weakness, I would say, the no remote control. Sometimes when I'm over there and I'm playing it at a nice volume, the phone might go. And rather than just being able to just quickly turn it down and answer the phone, I've got to get up and probably do it good, actually. Um, and maybe a few more watts. So is it going to be a keep? For now. It is going to be for now. Um... From time to time, I'll have a little look at Rotel. I love what they do, they're, they're, their amps. And that's all I can ever go off. I only ever heard their amps, but they're unbelievable. Um, now my conundrum, and it isn't really a conundrum. Um, the CD player, I still haven't found one yet. Um, and I was thinking, should I just get a Blu-ray player and use the CDs for that? But I didn't really want that, but I am gonna have to get a Blu-ray player because I've now got a 4K TV. There's a Bruce Lee box set coming out that's in 4K, Enter the Dragon in 2K. I've already got them on 4K, but I don't have a 4K player. Although Criterion have kind of stuffed me up, though. They've made it Region A, so it's only going to be allowed to be played in the uh, States. Thanks for that. Could have just done it Region Zero, so it plays on anything, but I'm sure they've got their reason. So I'm going to have to look for a multi-region 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player on top of everything else. So I've still got to find a decent CD player for all my CDs, but for now, I'm just using this for playing records. So so there you go. A quick and brief, I know, not too flashy. I just want to do something quick and simple. Uh, so I hope you like that Shabba Duba or Gerard. Um, like I said, just a quickie. Um, have a great week, guys. I'll be back with another ramble real soon. Bye now.